everyone, hope you're well. So, ta-da! Um, I don't really know where to start this because I never really do vlogs, but my sister and I went to BeautyCon this past weekend and she kindly took over the reins of the vlogging camera and vlogged a little bit of the experience. And she sort of told me how and where I need to edit this and what I need to do because she loves that kind of thing and editing and um, it's basically what I'm not very good at. But I thought I would address a few things, that's why I'm here to introduce the vlog. You might have noticed a little change, so I thought I would address it before I start the vlog in case you guys don't follow me on social media and if you haven't watched my previous videos. So, where shall I start? Okay, I want to start off by saying I'm not slagging anyone off or anything and that these sort of things happen in life and although I am quite upset on a scale of 1 to 10, I don't blame anyone and it's just unfortunately I'm on here so it's something I have to talk about. If I was not on camera and stuff like that, a change from blonde to brunette wouldn't really matter and I could go on with my daily life but unfortunately I have to address it because otherwise people are going to keep asking me about what happened. So all in all I went and did my hair as absolutely normal. I came out of the hairdressers completely happy because sometimes lighting is different in real life, like in the daylight as opposed to in the hairdressers and I just noticed that the top of my roots were not the sort of normal bright blonde as were my bottom ends so the week sort of five days or so later I went back in and um, to the same hairdresser and I told her that I just thought the colour wasn't right and that there was pulling, it was pulling quite warm and orangey but um, we went over it and it just went like a bright blonde with orange so it just wasn't what I was sort of looking for at all and um, my cousin kindly, well actually my cousin's husband kindly stayed up with me until really late because he knew I wanted to go to BeautyCon and I really was in no position to go because my hair just was, it just was not right and I was really upset about it so we tried to save it, we tried to balayage it and it didn't work out, it just didn't look right, it was pulling really warm just up here and then really blonde at the bottom so um, we unfortunately had to just go back to, this is not my natural hair colour, this is um, probably two, two shades darker than my natural hair colour but because it was so so blonde we had to like use a different colour on the top because it was so warm and then a different colour on the bottom, it was just like a really crazy palaver so um, yeah like it was quite crazy but um, we managed to do this and I'm I, I don't want to, I am really upset still, like if I could still have my blonde hair I would still have my blonde hair. I was thinking of going dark uh, in the sort of winter time but this was extremely premature for me. I want. I really wanted to go on holiday as a blonde but it's happened and these things happen in life and it's just one of those things. If I am going to keep the brunette I'm probably going to keep it to this sort of darker shade just because I feel like, I don't know, I quite like the uni, uni tone of it or something. I don't know, I do like it. Um, yeah, so this is what I have come out with, so yeah, that's I think that addresses it. If anyone else has questions down below then um, yeah, you can ask me and also I'll leave my cousin's husband's Instagram link down below and you can ask him like um, via Instagram or whatever, the actual colour that he used because I couldn't tell you, but um, it's probably going to fade out but like I said I probably will get it done. A little bit darker. So yes I'm a brunette again and if you guys watched Claire's video she was actually Hey Claire who I'm sure you all know. She was the first one to sort of like unveil it. Um, yeah because I went into BeautyCon with no one really knowing that I'd done it so um, yeah it was just really big palaver but yeah I'm gonna get onto the vlog now and sort of explain what happened because my sister like I said has given me strict instructions as to how I need to set out this vlog because she loves editing and stuff like that so hopefully I've done her a little bit of justice so you guys can tell me so she told me Barbara you have to sit down like Claire does you can't just do a voiceover and you have to talk so Claire I've stolen a little bit of your editing um, obviously not to any extent as good as yours but a, a bit of your editing tips the 22nd of May was the style hall pre beautycon party and like I've said before, I don't really normally attend these sort of things, but I really wanted to go because, I don't know, I just feel like I need to say yes to more things in my life, and it was just something that I felt like I really wanted to do. We had so many lovely drinks, there were so many lovely people. I got to meet Claire, Hello October, Poshal, Hannah. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, and the venue was really cool as well, it was in Dirty Bones. And then after the event, we went back to the hotel and had some drinks and nibbles. We stayed at the Dorset in Shepherd's Bush and it was a really lovely hotel. Alessandra and I did face masks. 
that we're doing face masks. <laughs> that was scary. <sighs> Quite scary. But this is how we get beautiful for BeautyCon, everyone. At like ooh, midnight. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Pretty shattered. And you guys, I'm wearing my really cute um, Primark PJs that I showed in. Well, I'm going to show in my haul. I don't know when this is going to go up. But look at the back of it. It's really cute. <laughs> show that. Yeah. Looks so, awesome. Yeah. Look beautiful. Um, I'll see you guys. This is really scary. I feel like Megan Reeks. Do you, you need to watch her? Do you watch her? No. She's really funny. She always does this. <laughs> yeah. Bye guys. And um, we had just like a really good girly sort of time. Um, I think we needed it. So it's nice to do that as sisters sometimes. And we went to bed quite late and we had to be up really early in the morning for BeautyCon. There's our breakfast. Obviously I'm about that poached egg life, so yeah. Gonna grab now. So BeautyCon was an experience because like I said, I don't really do stuff like that very often. If any of you guys have met me in the past, you'll have seen that I, I love meeting you guys and it's genuinely probably the thing that I love most about doing it because at the end of the day, I wouldn't be sitting here nor would I be doing cool things like that if it wasn't for you guys watching. So we had to be at BeautyCon bright and early. I had my meet up with Helen, Lexi and Shirley at 12 o'clock and we were just sort of milling around before then. There were so many stores, there was NYX, Liz Earl and we just sort of looked around there. And loads of you guys came up to me as well. I didn't film everyone but I just thought I'd put in clips of a few of you guys. And then there was the meet up. was so fun I should have probably tweeted more about it and stuff but I don't really love the idea of people queuing like anyway for long periods of time so it was really lovely to meet you guys who came out and said hello so thank you so much Liz Earl had a lovely stand where we got our nails painted and it was super cool Alessandra got a coffee we chilled around and then we went home quite early we were shattered. All the adrenaline and stuff had made us tired, so we went home. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy these sorts of things, hopefully I can kind of pluck up the courage to do more vlogs because I love watching vlogs. I probably love watching vlogs just as much as I love watching beauty videos. So let me know what you guys thought of this one and of the BeautyCon experience. If you guys went to BeautyCon and took a picture with me, definitely tweet me or Instagram me. And yeah, let me know down below what you thought. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you lots. Take care. And thank you to everyone who said hello and to all the lovely people I met.